Hello everyone and welcome to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm Angela Andrew and today is our weekly wrap up where Vanelli and I usually go over our images that we edited for this week but since you've only had me we're going to be going back over the images that I edited and I'll be answering any questions that may have arisen. So let me go ahead and switch over my screen here to my Luminar and I want to take a quick look here at the comments and see how everyone's doing. I want to say hello to Pat and Russ. Glad you guys are able to join us today. Celeste Schwartz, thank you for being here. I'm glad you're loving the program and hopefully these videos are helping you learn how to use it. Um, looks like photographer NZ, maybe New Zealand. I uh, would love to be trying out my prepaid version of AR, but I'm quite disappointed. It's showing up in my account and although it's been a week or so, I haven't had any reply for, from support. I'm so sorry that you haven't had a reply yet. Our support team has been swamped with so many questions about Luminar AI. They're getting back to everybody as quickly as possible. Um, if you need help right away, please go on to Facebook, onto our Facebook page at Skylum Software. Send us a DM, a direct message with your email address so we can locate your support ticket and get a reply back to you as soon as possible. Um, I'm really sorry again that you haven't had a reply yet. We're going to get back to people as quickly as we can. So with that, I want to go ahead and jump into the edits that we did this week. The first one up on the screen is the topic was how to do a vintage portrait look. And so this one was a great topic because we have this lovely young woman in her kind of bohemian chic uh, attire that really called itself, lent itself well to a vintage portrait look. So let me go ahead and show you our before image here. There's the before. It's a great picture, really nice. And then there's the after. What I did was started with a template and then added a little bit more detail using AI structure to the background, added a vignette and did a little bit of enhancement to her eyes to just really bring them out. So it turned out really well. Let me go ahead and show you which template I used. I started by going into this influencer collection, which I'm really growing to love, and I used Cozy Den. Now the first thing I did once I got over to the edit tab was Cozy Den automatically adds in a little bit of film grain. I went ahead and took that out because most images, well, I just don't think it works very well. It's to each their own and everybody has their own editing style. Adding grain has never really been my thing. So I take that out and then I went over to my creative tab. I used the structure AI, I pulled that up really high and that brought out a ton of detail here in the background. Let me turn that off and then back on again. So you can see how much detail that added. The really cool thing about structure AI is that it's human aware. When you take the structure to the right, it automatically detects that there's a human in the image it brings out all of the really cool detail around her, around the person, and re it retains all of the natural uh, textures to the skin tones. In previous, you know, other software, in previous iterations of even Luminar, some of the really early versions, structure and clarity affected everything, and it can get really damaging to skin tones and skin texture and make it look really kind of craggly, and especially for a female portrait, it's not a good look. So. With Structure AI being human aware, we're able to pull that up to the right really high, get all that beautiful detail around her without destroying the portrait. So we brought that up and then to really bring the eye into the subject, I added a nice soft vignette. So did that and then over here in the portrait tools, we went to the face AI and went down here and really brought up the eye enhancer, added a little bit of iris flare just to give her that real nice twinkle in her eyes. So again, let's take a look here at the before and the after. I love how that portrait turned out. Now the second image we did this week was this one. And we talked about how to bring out, or let's see, what was the exact title? Uh, how to sharpen a soft image, how to make images appear sharper. That was what it was. How to make images appear sharper. So what we did is we started with a template and there's this really great one here called, I think it's in scenery, fast scenery fixes. I chose clear and sharp, and that made a huge difference right out of the gate. So if I go back to my history and go into the edit tab and into my history panel here, if I go down to the bottom here and click back to my original, you'll see it's really flat. There's some good detail in there, but it's really lost in that haze and there's just, it needs a lot of work. So just by adding that clean and sharp template, let's go ahead and let that load, that brought out a ton of detail. So I went in and worked a little bit more with our structure and our details and brought out really great amount of detail and just kind of balanced where that detail was hitting. I felt like the, the, um, 
the template had a little bit too much going for it in the small details. Let me go ahead and close up that masking. So the small details was originally up a little bit too high. I pulled that back because that tends to make some of these little tiny nooks and crannies look a little too sharp. So then I pulled up medium and pulled up the large details just a little bit to balance out where the details were showing. If we head back to our history, I added some landscape and the dehaze and golden hour, and those really brought up the color and I think looks really, really gorgeous. And then to fine tune some of that detail, we added super contrast, which is over here in our pro tools. You can find it right here, super contrast. And that lets you independently manipulate the contrast in your shadows, highlights, and midtones, which is really, really nice. So let's go back here to our history. And let's see here, we did a little bit of a race. So there were a couple of dust spots in the sky. You can see there's one right there. Another one over here, we took care of those. We did a little bit of noise reduction on the sky. So by bringing out all of that texture and color and detail in our sky as well, if we look back here at the original, there's not a whole lot going on there. And I didn't even realize there was that much color present until I started working with the image. But by pulling out all of that color and detail, it did create some noise, so we added some noise reduction. And then we finally finished off the image with a nice soft vignette to just draw your eye in. So hopefully you guys like those edits. They give you a few ideas of how to make your images sharper. And with the first image, how to create that vintage portrait look. And that look works well for anything with kind of that vintage touch. It doesn't have to be a portrait. The only caveat is the eye enhancement really only works if there's a person in it. So I'm sure you guys <laughs> already picked up on that. Let me take a quick look here at the comments and see what's going on. Pat says she's she's loving AI but misses the luminosity masks. Um, yeah, I totally get that. I, I miss them too. I found them to be very helpful and hopefully they bring those back. I don't have any word on if that's gonna happen just yet, but I'll keep you posted if I hear anything. And definitely make sure those support or those feature requests are set to support at skylum.com, which it looks like you already have. Support at skylum.com for feature requests. All right, so those are our images for this week. If there aren't any other questions, go ahead and pop them into the comments. And if I don't see anything else pop up in the next few seconds, I'll go ahead and wrap up. I wanna wish you guys a wonderful week and a very Merry Christmas or whatever holidays you choose to celebrate. Wherever you are in the world, I hope that this brings you blessings and that you have a wonderful weekend. Vanelli and I will be back next week on Monday. We'll be doing sessions from Monday to Wednesday. And then we'll be taking a couple of days off for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and then be right back at it the following week. So hope you guys have a great Christmas. Get out there, make some photos, make some memories and have a wonderful Christmas. Bye bye, everybody.